What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this glowing edge effect inside of After Effects. Now the first thing you need to do for this effect is roto brush out your subject. So with the roto brush selected up here we just want to select our footage here and then create an outline around the car here or your subject. Then just scrub through the video making sure that the roto brush does a good job and this clip is pretty slow and it doesn't really have much movement to it so the rotor brush didn't really have any problem um, selecting the car here so I'm just gonna go ahead and freeze this layer and then we can close out of our layer here now you can see our car is now rotor brushed out and what we need to do is duplicate this layer so hit ctrl D and on the bottom layer let's delete that rotor brush now let's go over to the effects and presets and search up find edges and apply that to our top layer now you can see the effect is applied, but we wanna go here and invert the effect. Now let's go ahead and apply glow. You can use any glow for this. You can use deep glow or like S underscore glow, but I'm just gonna be using this default glow. So you won't be needing any presets or any other third party plugins for this effect. And you can go ahead and mess with the glow threshold and the glow radius here. I'm gonna be using 10% for the threshold and 50 for the radius. Now you can see you get this cool glowing edge effect on your footage here. And you can leave it like this if you want. This is already a super cool effect. Or what we can do is add some different colors to it. So I'm gonna go here and search up hue saturation and let's bring this right underneath our glow here now when you change this master hue right here it changes the colors on the edge which looks super cool and you can kind of get some different results just by changing this what i'm going to do is set a keyframe for the channel range at the start of my clip and then go to the end and just change this to a higher value now you can see it's like changing colors while the video is playing so i think this looks super cool and kind of like trippy so what we can do with this is actually animate it to kind of appear onto the screen so i'm going to go back into the effects and presets and search up linear wipe and you should see it in here for the transitions you can just apply this to this clip once again but make sure it's at the very bottom of your effects now i'm going to make the wipe angle negative 90 and then the transition to start at 100 percent now let's set a keyframe at the start here and then go to the middle of our footage set this to zero and then go to the end and then set this back to 100 percent now you can see it animates on and then like animates backwards so it looks cool but i wanted to animate outward the same direction that I was animating in so to fix that let's just go to the middle keyframe here and then set a keyframe for the wipe angle and then just go one frame over and then make the wipe angle 90 degrees or opposite of what you had the first one as so if it was like 180 then you'd make it negative 180 so now you can see that that is fixed but I don't really like this edge on here I kind of want to feather it out so we can go here and feather the edges let's do like 150 percent and once again we can go back into our glow settings and change like the glow threshold and the glow radius here to get different results so just by changing that you can see the effect honestly looks a lot different you can also go into the blending mode here and change it to like screen so you can actually see the original car and i think this looks super cool as well but you can mess with the blending modes if you want we can do like color now when we play this back you can see it actually changes the color of the car here as it kind of like wipes past the car you can kind of see the effect it gives so yeah super cool effect a lot of different things you can do with this um, so yeah kind of just get creative with it and apply your different effects or whatever you want to do to it and yeah and here's another cool effect you can do using the color edge from the car as you can see i have it scaling up from the background and what i did to do that is i just created a simple rotor brush of the car on the top here and then on the bottom is just that layer that we had previously with the effects but i brought it in between our layers here and i just did some simple keyframing to keyframe the scale here once again we could change the blending mode to like luminosity i think this looks super clean or you could even bring it to the top layer if you want and that gives a totally different effect too. So you can get pretty creative by just using this effect in After Effects. Let me know what effects you guys want me to do tutorials on next. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.